The American missile defense system known as THAAD is expected to be operational in just a matter of days. Beijing opposes it because its radar can peer inside China. It says the system will upset the strategic balance. Many Chinese netizens are concerned and angry. One user said, this is a threat to our national security. Hundreds of millions of Chinese should boycott South Korean companies. Another said, we should show them that if they spy on us, we can give them a hard time too. Our next turning topic couldn't be more different. Chinese internet users are talking about a woman who was fired for claiming her double eyelid surgery qualified as an emergency medical procedure. She recently lost an appeal of the firing. People are sharing their own double eyelid experiences in response to the story. Many Chinese women get the surgery to create a crease in their upper eyelid. Most Chinese are born without double eyelids, which are common in the West. Some say it buys into Western beauty standards. One user said, having a single eyelid is not an illness. Another said, ha ha, I wish that the single eyelid would be popular in my lifetime, but that's impossible. Now, one thing Weibo users can agree on is the praise that they are giving China's high-speed railway system for offering more affordable food options. The railway recently announced that it was going to increase the meal options available to passengers. This following complaints that the food selection on trains was limited and that affordable meals are often sold out, forcing passengers to buy more expensive ones. The railway will also allow passengers to pre-order their meals online or on their phones. Our last trending topic is also train-themed. People are talking about subway etiquette in Nanning City and South China's Guangxizhuang Autonomous Region. This video shows a woman shoving her way onto the subway train as the doors close, delaying the entire train and endangering herself. Subway authorities are using this video as a teaching tool to warn commuters that subway doors should not be treated like elevator doors. And that's sound advice for commuters in China and around the world. That's a quick look at trending topics on Chinese social media. You can find out more about what's trending on the Digital Hub by following us at CGTN America on Facebook, Twitter, and Weibo.